Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoy this content, make sure to leave a like on the video. That will help the video reach others who might need information like this. And I was able to communicate with the guides and get some advice on how to navigate the energies in the next few days leading up to the solstice and also how to capitalize on the opportunities that are coming after. So one thing that you should know, and maybe you've discovered this already for yourself, that all empaths right now are very, very sensitive. And in my situation, when I feel extra sensitive in my emotional body, I know that's an opportunity to expand. I know that it is an opportunity to explore my gifts further but if you get caught up in the whirlwind of that sensitivity, it's really hard to do. So my advice, and this is something that I did before becoming an Akashic Records practitioner, and I think I wrote an article about this. I can't remember if this made it in or not. But you should be playing games with your intuition. You should be having fun with this sensitivity. I would, at my old job, be counting a lot of inventory and before I would go to a certain location to count the inventory I would ask my intuition how many items were in that specific location and this was an effort to tap into the quantum field and you know when you're doing those things you're never going to be 100% successful but what you're doing is triggering that intuitive hit of information on the spot so there's a lot that you can do when these energies are high and intense as they are right now. And lightworkers are designed and made to thrive in these situations anyway. So make sure that you take the opportunity to explore yourself with this sensitivity because it could come and go. And honestly, the sensitivity is something that you want to stick around because it's useful and it can help you navigate your path comfortably as the magnificent being that you are. You should also know that the opportunity to heal and release that which doesn't serve you has never been easier. And your higher self and your guides are well, well aware of this. Everything right now is on the surface, meaning that you don't have to dig deep and repeat lessons over and over and over again until you clear something out of your system. Learn the lessons that you need to learn, observe yourself, identify what you want to stick and what you want to let go of. Your affirmations, your self-talk and the way that you communicate with the universe in whatever form it takes um, is really important right now. And a simple affirmation that you can do is higher self. I release in this now moment that which does not serve me. That's as simple as it needs to be. That is as powerful as a statement as a conscious being can make. And your higher self knows exactly what to do with that. And that statement in itself is giving the higher self permission with your own free will to make moves on your behalf. We are in a situation right now where there's little intervention going to be happening for us. We are conscious beings with the responsibility of manifesting and creating the reality that we want within the rules and laws of incarnating in the universal space. So keep that in mind. Um, if anything, the rules are going to apply to you to a greater degree. Remember how things work. Remember what you are capable of as the creator who's observing creation. You can tailor your experience your guides and your higher self are not deciding how things should be for you. You have a lot more influence and say over what makes an appearance in your reality than you might think. Don't focus on attracting possessions. Don't focus on attracting people. Focus on your vibration and attracting the right energies. That's how the creator manifests those energies are going to attract whatever else is appropriate for you to receive. Right now is an opportunity as well for us to either reestablish or create firm boundaries within ourselves. And I say within ourselves because a lot of the times <clears throat> we have trouble keeping ourselves accountable. We have trouble doing what's best for us. 
we have trouble considering our health and considering our emotional well-being and all of those things, um, you know, it's important to have boundaries with the people that you have in your life and, you know, but what are your own personal boundaries worth? What worthiness do you see in yourself? And are you honoring that every moment of every day? In regards to the people in your life, you have to just understand that light workers are attractive subconsciously. Light workers will attract energy thieves. And those energy thieves will see you as nothing but a resource to draw from. Now is the appropriate time to eliminate, to eliminate anybody from your experience that sees you as a resource, sees you as easy pickings. We're done with that. We're not going to have it anymore. Anyone who remains in your life is going to see you for who you are. It's going to act respectfully and the give and take is going to be equal. We're not interested in taking anyone with us that doesn't want to go. We're not interested in creating somebody's path for them. If you've got hitchhikers hanging around you, make sure that you don't enable them and allow them to do their own work. And that is the best way that you can honor them. And that is the most loving thing that you can do for them. Now is the time to create new energy habits and routines. And you know, a lot of us are doing this, um, but more often than you think, people are neglecting their energetic well being. People are not taking the time to meditate and get themselves back in alignment with the higher self, which is really hard to do. When we are working so hard just to get by, um, you know, it, it almost feels selfish to take that time for ourselves. But in order to be the best version of yourself, you need to remove what doesn't work anymore and what is an old energy system. And you need to firmly establish new energy habits and behaviors. I hear it from the guides all the time. Um, old souls and light workers right now have an issue with they want to keep one foot in the old energy and they want to have another foot in the new energy but they want everything that the new energy has to offer you need to fully invest your time and energy in co-creating the new earth and you do that every day by going through your new energy processes and the last thing i want to discuss some are feeling disconnected. Some are even feeling detached weirdly from their physical body. And I want to tell you that there's opportunity there as well. There is opportunity to immerse yourself in the multidimensional realities of infinite potential. You should be fully invested in exploring those dimensional spaces in whatever form they take, whatever form you can create them in. But you don't want to just go to those multidimensional spaces just to go there. You want to go there to see what you can bring back with you. And that's where the immersion comes in as your ability to immerse yourself in the multidimensional experience increases. So does the opportunity to bring back with you what you found there. Still your mind, calm your body, and let your third eye open and explore the real reality. When a light worker can enter a multidimensional state, the illusion becomes submissive to you. It has no authority over energy and those who know how to wield it. So thank you very much for watching, you guys. Like I said, leave a like on the way out, and that would mean a lot to me. And uh, thank you very much. I will see you next time.